How does the owner of Little Caesars think up his next great pizza idea? What are his influences, his inspiration? That's it, pizza for a buck. Where do I come up with this stuff? Pizza for a buck, your pizza pizza bonus when you buy two pizzas with two toppings for $8.98. Pizza pizza plus pizza for a buck. Empire has two good reasons to switch to DuPont Staymaster Plus carpet. One, it's on sale for $9.95 a yard, including padding and installation. Two, you get next day, even same day delivery with Empire Express service. And there's no interest or monthly payments till June. We'll even give you a free Bissell carpet sweeper with your order. Hey, wait a minute. Isn't that five good reasons? Five, eight, eight, two, three, hundred, and four. Dear Noise, I brought my car to your competitor, and without any inspection, he said, You need new brakes. Then I went to Midas, your manager. Hi, I'm Tom Kirshner. Had a thorough inspection done and said, You don't need new brakes. The squeaking noise is caused by brake dust. Such honesty is refreshing in the time of auto repair ripoffs. Yours truly, Frank J. Ruder. The vomit trial continues. He denies her abuse charges. Now it's her turn to talk. What's the other side of the story? Fox has complete coverage tonight at 9. Tonight, Rock is moving to its new later time, 8.30, 7.30 Central. Now stay tuned for the series premiere of Monty. And now, Long Island's own Channel 35 presents the man who speaks his mind and yours, and the man who gave me my job and controls my very existence on the planet, Monty Richardson! Clifford Walker, ladies and gentlemen, a servile, parasitic toady who would leave me in a second if Phil Donahue offered him a job. <laughs> now, get out of here. Go, 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 go. We have got a great show for you this afternoon. We're going to take an impartial look at the spotted owl crisis in the great Northwest. <laughs> Let's move it along. Rita Simon, ladies and gentlemen, my African-American producer. White boy. <laughs> you made the paper today. I made the paper. Mm -hmm. There's a brilliant letter to the editor criticizing your stand on animal rights from an Ann Sherman of Oceanside. Well, let's get Ann Sherman on the show. Let's see what this fruitcake has to say. Oh, yeah! Fruitcake on the show! <laughs> you serious? She could be some maniac who wants to kill you. I'll call her. <laughs> and while you're on the phone, we'll play. Pin the lie on the Democrat. Woo! <laughs> now, talking about lying Democrats, when are we going to get an immigration policy in this country that makes sense? You know, right now, there are two ways to get into this country. You can be like my son, a Yale graduate, straight-A student, a fine, upstanding American who's coming home today from Europe. Now, you know that he's going to be detained at JFK by a three-hour strip search and delousing. While some guy comes over here with a bomb in his burnoose. Hello. <laughs> who belongs to some wacko cult who tells him that America is the great Satan. Kind of waltzes on through. My wife can't bring back a pineapple from Hawaii. We give these guys the keys to some 7-Eleven. <laughs> but I think I have got the solution. A very simple questionnaire. Rita. Yeah. Would it be too much trouble to roll the questionnaire? Roll it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, question number one. Did you arrive in these great United States by A, a jet, B, a boat, or C, a magic carpet? <laughs> question two. God is A, a, a religious being worshipped by most people, B, what dyslexics call a dog, <laughs> or C, some supreme being that commands you to rent a truck, fill it with dynamite, drive over potholes all over New York City, blow up a building, and then try to get your deposit back. <laughs> if you answered C to either of the above, hey, you're out of here. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, 
Okay, we're going to take a break. We're going to be right back with the Find a Blind Date for Janet Reno contest. <laughs> right after that. What do you think of Mutt? What do I think about him? I think he's a nut. I think he's absolutely gorgeous. Not handsome, but he has a little charisma. I think he looks disgusting. I like him. He's pretty sexy, I think. Guy's a blowhard. I think he's a pig and an idiot. I don't like his politics. I don't like what he stands for. Well, he's the conscience of America. He is the biggest joke uh, that this country's seen in a long time. Uh, how can you have an opinion about him? <laughs> really? Uh, I think he should have been replaced a long time ago. I think he's great. I think he's brilliant. I have nightmares when I think of him. He's a criminal. He's a great American. I think he's an evil manipulator. I think he's a nice guy. I don't want him. Neither do I. Personally, I would never miss a show. I don't like him. He likes him. I like him so much, I named my baby after him. Hi, Monty. Say hi, Monty. <laughs> Monty is brought to you by Pizza Hut, who reminds you that anytime's a great time to stop and smell the pizza. Welcome to the Home Eating Network. Our first item is this lovely supreme pizza from Pizza Hut. It comes with a stunning array of pepperoni, onions, beef, and pork toppings, and mushrooms. Don't you just love mushrooms? And if that wasn't enough, you're also getting some fabulous green peppers. You might expect to pay up to $100, but call now and it's just $7.99. And we'll throw in a second pizza for just $5, up to five more pizzas. Our drivers are standing by, so call now. You've got a sore throat, a painful cough, a stuffy nose. Give them the trademark vapor action of Hall's Mentholiptus cough tablets and feel better fast. Hall's vapor action, only in the halls of medicine. Uh-oh, the moment of your dreams. But what about your breath? Grab them. You only mince with that Retsin stuff for fresh, clean breath. You're Sheila, right? Right. <laughs> How come she's laughing? Did she notice the soup on your tie? We dare you to feel more comfortable this month. You're on. I love a dare. What do I do? Take a Playtex tampon out of its applicator and dare to compare it to the other leading brands. Playtex feels so soft and silky. Playtex is softer. And a more comfortable applicator. It's rounded. Which tampon do you want to use? Playtex. 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 Because I love my comfort. Playtex. Dare to feel more comfortable this month. David's drug addiction is out of control, and tomorrow... David, where's Aaron? It could cost him more than he ever imagined. Oh my God, David, she's gone. And one of the girls will get a shocking surprise. You're pregnant. An all-new 90210. Then, Jane gets a videotape that shows her lover in bed with someone else. Don't you see that someone's trying to set me up? Get out. An all-new Melrose Place after 90210, starting tomorrow at 8, 7 central. Get hooked on Fox Wednesday night. Nerds are invading Springfield. Mr. Simpson, we all have nosebleeds. Catch The Simpsons, Thursday at 8, 7 central. Uh-huh. How are you, kiddo? Hey, Dad. So, did you see the show today? Oh, absolutely. Great show. You really gave it to those bleeding hearts. Hey, thanks. <laughs> what was your favorite part? Well, you know, all of it. <laughs> well, oh, specifically. Well, you know, the part where you talked about gays in the military, mm -hmm. feminists, environmentalists, liberals, Clinton, Gore, you know. You were watching Oprah, weren't you? Well, that I'll be honest with you. I, I mean, I hear enough about you all day. I mean, my teachers hate you, my friends hate you. You know how mom feels. Just watch the tape, okay? Hello. Oh, Greenpeace. Yeah, uh, a contribution? Hey, you know what? I would love to talk to you too, but we just sat down to dinner, and you know how whale tastes if you let it get too cold. <laughs> Hello. Is Greg here yet? Hello. No, 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 no. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. Hi. Oh. Mm, I'm so excited about Greg coming home. Me too. <laughs> What'd you make him for dinner? I'm not making any dinner. 
But he's coming back from Europe after six months. He's going to be hungry. Honey, he was in Europe. They have food there. <laughs> yeah, but I was hoping that we could give him, like, an American meal, you know? Okay, we could go out for Chinese. <laughs> but uh, a family dinner. Remember family, Fran? Remember dinner? Monty, I had no time to go shopping. I had student-teacher conferences. I had spelling tests to grade. Little Jimmy Winokur, crazy glued a nostril shut in arts Fran. and crafts. I had to open, 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 open. You can make dinner, too. But you're the woman. <gasps> he said it. Here, call Hillary. Oh, yeah. Fruitcake on the show. Ta-da. Honey. Ta -da. <laughs> mm. God, look at you. You just keep getting younger. Uh, hey, ugly. Been kissed yet? Absolutely. Ann Min was here last week. Uh. <laughs> I, uh, I got you that De Gaulle biography you wanted. What would I want with the a De Gaulle bi... Oh, okay, hey, uh, he photographs great. Yeah. Let's see now. Gosh, I've been away so long. Uh, you are... The man who paid for the trip? Dad? Yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> you look great. Hi, hi. Greg, I need another 10 for the cap. I'm all out. Dad, she needs a 10. Who is she? Monty, give her a 10. I would love to. Who is she? Dad, the meter's running. The meter is running. So, uh... You like her? <laughs> She's good with money. Yeah. Who is she? Well, her name is Gina, and I met her in Germany. She was selling pieces of the Berlin Wall. And she is so, just, so, 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 I was thinking she would stay with us for a couple of days. Hi. I'm sorry about that. Um... You must be the Richardson. <laughs> yes, we are. And what are you? What? Oh, oh, you mean the clothes. Well, this is all I had clean. I mean, it's either this or I'm naked. So don't tease me. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's, it's not the clothes. She has a ring in her nose. I know. <laughs> are you married to a pygmy? Oh, oh. Right down to the word pygmy. You in the bed. Monty, give him a ten. Oh, uh, no, thank you. I need all the cash I can get. I didn't know I was taking an extra person to dinner. Oh, no, Dad, I got a better idea. Why don't we just stay here, and I will cook something. Oh, you're going to cook something? That's rich. Before you left here, you couldn't put a Pop-Tart in a toaster. Yeah, well, I can now. Uh, Gina's been teaching me vegetarian cooking, and uh, I really enjoy it. It's, uh, it's utilitarian in a, uh, in a Thoreauian sense. <laughs> what was that word? <laughs> You know, uh, Thoreauian, uh, of or about Thoreau. Used in a sentence, uh, you Thoreauian like a girl. <laughs> I was talking about vegetarian. When did you stop eating meat? Since I met Gina. Since Gina. Hi. Uh, Dave, come on, I'll show you how to baste. Forget him, show your mother. Uh, no thanks, cooking's for girls. This is my son. You know, women are incredibly attracted to men who can cook. Let me show you the new spice rack. Uh -huh. <laughs> David, give me that magazine. I'm going to put it with your father's to go. Uh, Gina. Uh, no, Dad. Gina's the no, best no, chopper no, no. around. I'm cool. Sorry. So, uh, Gina, you were studying abroad, he said jokingly. Nope. I'm a writer and an actor. I'm really into the arts, actually. And sometimes I cut hair to sort of break up the creativity, you know? You're a hairdresser. Yeah, I have my license. And I could probably help you with that. <laughs> Not only are you president, you're also a client. <laughs> what a great comment from someone who puts a ring where only a tissue should go. So what happened? You, uh, you met my son, uh, you cut his hair, he gave you a big tip, and now you're paying him back? No. I was actually doing a performance of a one-woman show that I wrote and directed in Berlin. It was called I, Gina. I don't think Greg was there for the artistic merit of the evening. Because I was, I was naked in the play for a few minutes, and I... You were naked? You were naked in a public place? 
Yeah, well, it wasn't a bakery or anything. It was a theater. <laughs> You're a stripper. I am not a stripper. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> a, um, a, an exotic dancing engineer. <laughs> Listen, Mr. Richard. No, you, you listen to me. What? I know what you did. You let my son pay your way all over Europe, and now you've come straight to the bank. <laughs> I don't need your money. I make my own money. And I know how. Ba 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 boom ba boom. Ba 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 boom ba boom. You know something? I saw your show once, and all I can really say is, you are fat on TV. <laughs> Some days your hair needs more conditioning. Some days maybe less. No matter what your hair goes through, the best conditions just for you. That's the beauty of the net. Finesse adjusting conditioner is activated by your hair's changing needs. Conditions more on days you need it, less on days you don't. That's the beauty of the net. Conditions more, conditions less. Beauty of the net. Conditions more, conditions less. That's the beauty of the net. Introducing Red Lobster's 20 Shrimp and More Platters, like 20 Shrimp with a juicy steak, 20 Shrimp with fresh grilled salmon, or 20 Shrimp with steaming crab legs. 20 Shrimp and More, just $10.99. Tonight, only at Red Lobster. When your dentist cleans your teeth, he uses special instruments that get between them. But what toothbrush would your dentist prefer to use? Well, in a recent nationwide test, Dennis tried a leading flat brush and Crest Complete. The brush more dentists preferred was Crest Complete. See, flat brushes aren't shaped like teeth, but because Crest Complete is, it reaches far between teeth. Now, shouldn't you choose Crest Complete? Of course you should. And it's now available in Designer Black. Friday, the true secret of the orb is revealed. And our heroes are in for a shock. Briscoe County Jr., Friday on Fox. Al's going to visit his in-laws. You don't hear from me at least once a day. Call 911, or as they say in Wanker County, 911. Are married with children. Then, he was the original bad boy of comedy. Lady, you dropped some of your stuff. And still is. You get a bath, you get a nail clipping. I also <laughs> clean the ears and uh, express the anal gland. Huh? The George Carlin Show. I know you're talking about the dog, but... Just for a minute, I had a fantasy. Premieres right after Married with Children, Sunday on Fox. Rock is moving to a new later time, and tonight... Run, run, run. He's running for office. You think you'd make a terrific candidate. You're dynamic, you're strong, you're hard-headed, long-winded. All right, Joy. So cast your vote. How's my smile? For Rock. You look like a jack-o'-lantern. Catch an all-new episode at its new time, coming up next. Excuse me, there's an extra patty of beef on my cheeseburger? Oh, that's Wendy's 99-cent quarter-pound double stack. That comes that way. No way, dude. Way? I'm sorry. Is there a problem here? Wendy's Quarter Pound Double Stack is such a great deal at 99 cents. Some people find it hard to believe. So you see, it comes with two patties of beer. Okay, but are you sure that's cool with the boss? The boss? You know, Wendy. The Quarter Pound Double Stack, just 99 cents every day on Wendy's Super Value Menu. I love steak. Especially a uh, thick, juicy T-bone. A1 all over the top. Perfect. Wonderful. I'm in the mood for something spicy. Tongue-tingling spicy. Spice is just... They get you here. They get you right here. I want something with gumption. Something with a peppery kick that's spicy. A1 Bold. Yeah, that's what I'm in the mood for. Original A1 and new A1 Bold. They're how steak is done. Our new morning show will be the same as the old one, except, of course, now that it's on Fox 32, it'll be an ultra-high frequency. Okay, your loss. Still no takers on the Find a Blind Date with Janet Reno contest. <laughs> Maybe I can fix her up with my son. You ought to see what he brought home. <laughs> And now let's keep the, uh, the show rolling and give a big paw for Miss Ann Sherman, huh? Woo! You wrote the letter to the editor? Yes, sir. Are you sure that your mommy is not Ann Sherman? No. 
My mother's name is Patricia Sherman, and she's over there with my dad, Daryl Sherman, and our dog, Bootsy Sherman. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Hi, Bootsy. I love you. She loves them. <laughs> so, you like animals. I love them. Do you have any animals? Well, we had little baby seals. You want to see my nifty belt? <laughs> When you make fun of animals on your show, you encourage all the bad people out there who just want to hurt them. And God will be very mad at you for that. <laughs> Don't you believe in God, Mr. Richardson? Do you think it's time for a commercial? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> That smells so much worse than what you made last night. What is that? It's vegetarian lasagna made just the way you like it, Dad. With meat? Hey, Mr. Richardson. Saw you on TV today. An 11-year-old really kicked the crap out of you. It was a great show. Okay, soup's on. <clears throat> Gina. Uh -huh. Okay. I have to, uh, this has to be eaten at just the right temperature to get the essence of the basil oregano sauce. What the hell happened to you in Europe, oregano, basil, Gina? Well, I like the basil and oregano. And this is actually very good. Oh, well, I'm glad to hear you say that, Dad, because now, I know it doesn't sound masculine, but I found my dream, and it's in the kitchen. What are you talking about? I'm going to be a chef. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I want to be a jazz singer. Dad, I'm sorry, but I'm serious. I, I am going to enroll in culinary school. Hey, look, Greg. Okay, now, look. I am so happy you had a great trip in Europe. You fooled around. You learned how to cook. You met some girl. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dad, Gina is not some girl. No, no, no. I understand that. I, I know that. She's not some girl. She can take care of herself. I'm sure the roller derby will take her back. <laughs> Listen, you pompous, permanently having a bad hair day, fascist! You come into my house and like that now. Ba-boom, ba-boom, ba Quiet! Now everybody just sit down and calm down. There isn't going to be any more yelling. Now, if you want to talk, you raise your hand. Fran, come on, this is not the second No place. hand, I am not recognizing that. <laughs> Very good, Greg. You have the floor. Thank you, Mom. Okay, I have an announcement to make, everybody. <laughs> Gina and I are getting married. What? <laughs> We're getting married. No, you're not. Yes, yes we, we are. are. Wait a minute, this is not a democracy. I didn't spend all this time and all this money molding my son's future for him to throw it away on Gypsy Rose Lee. <laughs> Let me tell you something. You are going back to law school, and you are returning to the mothership. <laughs> You know what, Dad? Uh, we don't have to listen to this. We're getting married. You don't listen to this, Greg. And you're on your own. I guess I'm on my own, then. Can't believe you just did that. Oh, come on, Fran. You don't know what's going on. Yes, I do. Greg wrote me all about Gina. And why didn't you tell me? Because he asked me not to. And because I don't tell you everything. Oh, yes, you do. You tell me everything. This is my house. I know everything that's going on here. Where are you going? <laughs> to turn on the TV. And then? To turn towards the TV. <laughs> okay, just keep me informed. <laughs> Look, I know that Gina is not exactly what we envisioned for Greg. Oh. But let me remind you that 23 years ago, I brought you to meet my parents who hated you the moment you walked through the door. They thought you were crude and, and, and uneducated and that, and that I had stooped to someone who was beneath me. Okay, friend, I remember the wedding invitation. <laughs> so what's the point? The point is this is the same situation. They're adults and they can do what they like. And I just want to be sure that I am not going to miss my son's wedding. Well, Fran Meister, you don't have to worry about that because there's not going to be a wedding. You know, it's nice the way the oregano doesn't overpower the basil. 
Oh, David, please shut up. I need silence, which includes chewing. You see, this is the kind of father-son moment I'll be relating to my therapist years from now. <laughs> Open the door, you sissy. <laughs> I, uh, I think she's talking to you. You come for the other son? No, I got a few things to say to you. David, out. Um, where should I go? Because I know how you like to keep track of me. <laughs> Look, I've only got a minute, okay? Greg thinks I'm in the car and he'd be really mad if he knew I was talking to you. And I'm thrilled about it. Listen, you know what? I know you're not crazy about me, but I don't need you to like me. The important thing here is that there's a guy upstairs right now packing underwear into a suitcase who desperately needs your approval. Only underwear? I hope he's going somewhere very informal. <laughs> he's leaving now, Mr. Richardson. I know my son. He's not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? That's what my dad thought, and I have not seen him in years. Your son is upstairs right now. Don't screw it up. Are you finished? Because I can't hear you. See, I tune you out. I, I tuned you out right after, uh... I, Gina. <laughs> Don't screw it up. Greg, would you put down the bags? You're not going anywhere. No, Dad. You know, there's something I wanted to tell you at dinner, but I, uh... I don't know, I didn't get my hand up fast enough. <laughs> I know you don't like Gina, as much as you try to hide it. And I know you're angry. I know you're angry that I, I'm not going to law school. And Dad, I understand that, but you've got to understand me. Okay, cooking is not some lark. It's the first job I can picture myself doing for the rest of my life. It, it doesn't even feel like a job, except for casseroles, which... <laughs> and I'm crazy about Gina, and I, I want to be with her, and we're going to get married, Dad. That's it. Okay. What do you mean, okay? I... I have more. <laughs> I was going to discuss your, your inability to compromise and your stubbornness and your, your hair. <laughs> so that's it. I mean, you... Uh, you understand. I understand that you are very serious about this. I understand that that girl is a casserole. I, uh... Guess I'll go, uh, unpack my apron. Get over here. Hey. Are you happy? You know what make me really happy? If you went out and gave Gina a big hug. <laughs> Dad! He doesn't have to be that happy right now. Beethoven's second delivers. No! Four stars, an entertainment delight. Isn't that right, you little chihuahua, you? The New York Times says it's irresistible. Where do babies come from? Oh, huh. And Joel Siegel calls it a very funny, very entertaining film. Puppies! Universal Pictures and Ivan Reitman present Beethoven's Second. Directed by Rod Daniel. Rated PG. Now playing. A mature look at breakfast. Hold on there, hot foot. I gotta eat. I'm waiting. Always bolting out without breakfast? Will you relax? How about trying the big, ripe, sweet taste of Kellogg's Cherry Pop-Tarts? The nectar of the gods. Hot and fast from the toaster. You love cherries. Listen to the voice of maturity. They're good. Isn't that better? Real good, real fast. Life is just a bowl of cherries. But skipping breakfast is a pit. I heard.
heard it between Burgerville and boredom. It was like a voice telling me to resist my mad, habitual hunger, urging me to hold out. It said different, spicy, tacos, yes. Original hard shells filled with beef, lettuce, tomato, cheese, and other magic. All for under a buck. Taco Bell. Sure, they used to follow your instinct. Besides, I'm a guy. I never ask directions. Crooks. This is Henry Winkler with a few choice words about education. Get one, please. And if you're a parent, do whatever you can to show your child how much you care about his or her future by getting involved. Ask them what they're learning in school. Praise them if they do well and encourage them if they stumble. Let them know that the key to the future is by putting education first. For information, write Education First, 3801 Barham Boulevard, Suite 330, Los Angeles, California, 90068. The last time you were here, we were talking about animal experimentation. Well, this time, I am prepared with document... documentation. Now, this particular study shows that animal experimentation is very important because it helped find a cure for diseases that have killed and crippled thousands and thousands of children and adults. <laughs> oh, Anne. Oh. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. You're a big girl, Anne. Can we please go to the commercial, okay? All right. Oh. Are we off the air? Uh, yes, we, we've got a two-minute commercial, yes. Oh, are they going to hate you? <laughs> What do you think of Monty? He made me who I am, and I blame him for that. If he was an animal, he'd be exactly the same. Well, I think he, uh, I think he really believes what he says, but, uh, you know, you can't hold that against him. Oh, I love him. My parents aren't crazy about him. I don't know why he won't admit it to anyone, but I'm his sister. Oh, he's a wonderful friend. Not mine, but I've heard. Yeah. <laughs>